but let's take a look at this trading strategy. If you notice here, this trading strategy is designed to buy and then sell, which means that it will not sell short. So the first thing that I want to do is run this strategy as is, and then I will modify it so that it will both buy long and sell short. So I'll open up, I'll expand this chart, pull up the strategies. As you can see, I already inserted the QB sample strategy. I'm going to uh, turn this on. Properties for all. Well, just to be somewhat realistic here, I put in a commission of $5 a side. That would be $10 a round turn, which is actually a bit high these days. And slippage of uh, $6 a side, so one tick per trade. Now, what I want to do is make sure that my inputs are formatted correctly. So I have the algorithm name, fractal dimension trend. Input length, again, is the amount of starting data that will be analyzed. We have 500 closing prices. And we are going to predict one step ahead into the future. Click OK. And now I click Close. And we should see it calculate the strategy. Okay, now we have a trading system. So currently we're in a buy long position. We're still in the trade. And we can go back and take a look here. The red line means that it lost. The blue means that it made money. So we have a pretty nice nice trade. Have a loser, loser. Have a winner there, another winner. So let's go ahead and take a look at the report just for fun and see what we have here with our basic system. Uh, okay, well, we had a drawdown, but it finished up ahead about uh, $2,000, 1657 on 40 trades. So just to show you how we can change a few things here. Let's go ahead and modify this code to sell short. So I'm going to uh, just enter sell short here. Click verify. And now we see that the new strategy is calculating. Okay, it's finished, and we have a series of buy long and short sales. So let's take a look at our performance report again here. And it looks like we have a marked improvement in the performance. Uh, we're up to about 3,500 or so and uh, on 81 trades so about double which is to be expected profit factor of about one and a quarter now just to demonstrate the flexibility in building a trading system let's take a look at something here real quick we have an average trade net profit of forty four dollars that's after slippage and commissions the average winning trade is four hundred fifty seven dollars the average losing trade is three hundred forty dollars so why don't we go ahead and put in a stop loss because we don't have one and uh, we can insert that easily by clicking on insert strategy go to the stop loss strategy that comes with TradeStation insert it we'll put in roughly the same amount as our average trade maybe a little more Let's try 500 and let's let it run and see how it looks All right, we have our new strategy here. Let's see if you, know, we, we, you can see the stop loss s uh, signals here. And now, question is, did it affect our performance negatively or positively? 
So we'll run a strategy performance report. Once again, it's calculating. And uh, we have 90 trades, a little more trades. And our total is uh, went up 4,282. Uh, and the curve looks a little better. Um, our biggest drawdown period, well, we were underwater for just under $2,000 at the extreme end here. So that doesn't look too bad. We may have something and we might want to uh, continue working with it. So as you can see, there is all sorts of different ways to use this product. And you do not need to be an expert in easy language to get started and start building trading strategies. So this is just a introduction and uh, we hope to have many more specific videos that uh, show you how to do some more complex programming activities in the near future.